Hey everyone, I'm Quinn with the Red Carpet Report and we are here at the Paley Center in Beverly Hills for the premiere of the animated Netflix series Big Mouth as well as the season 3 premiere of Fuller House. Yeah, thank you, I'm Quinn. Hi, nice to meet you, I'm Jesse. Nice to meet you. Are we all set here? Awesome. Where are you from? Oh, We're Red from Red Carpet, Carpet Report. Report. Thanks. Hi. So, 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 hi. Okay, nice. thanks, so do you. I like your shoes and your skirt and your shirt. I like your dress and your shoes and your hair and your face. Damn. Damn. Great. Nice. I like your face too. Anyway, uh, let's talk about your character. Are you the only character w with the same name? Ooh, I hadn't even thought about it. Maybe I am. Yeah. Does that make things like a little bit more real for you when you're when you're being Jesse? Um, I yeah, I, I it always feels pretty real. I mean, again, they know that my um, my abilities as an actor are pretty much. I'm best when kept to me. Okay. So I'm very much being like a version of me. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Tell us a little bit about about the character on the show. Um. Yeah. I play. Um, it's a big stretch for me. Um. Just like a smart kind of nerdy girl who's a little uncomfortable um, and is friends um, with Nick and Andrew um, and kind of uh, I like hanging out with these guys but I also probably don't I'm a little smarter than them yeah. Yeah. like in real life well I mean you're one of the only trailers is is uh, a short of your character with Maya Rudolph's character right yeah yes um, I can't even begin to say like the the hashtag blessedness that I feel getting to be breathing the same air as Maya Rudolph, like on earth in general, and then to be in a show with her where she plays like my guide through puberty. It's, I, I'm not exactly, I mean, it's just the best. I've, I love her so much. Yeah, well, you get to work with all these amazing people. I mean, people you've worked with before, obviously, but how do you kind of balance the, the kind of, you know, the raw, real kind of nasty material with, with it being a kid's show? Um, I guess about kids. Yeah, I mean, again, I was saying, I don't know what their, like, age limit is. I'm sure Netflix wants literally every person with eyeballs that are working to watch. I would, you know, I would say, like, don't show it to, like, an actual baby. Okay. Um, but I do think it has a lot of heart at the same time that it has, like, a lot of kind of really dirty jokes but like it's soulful and that's I think something that's really awesome about it that's awesome well we're looking forward to it congratulations and uh yeah well, um, I'm excited for the show thank you so much thank it was you. nice meeting you nice meeting you as well okay thanks so much for watching be sure to hit like to like this video and also subscribe for more interviews and leave us a comment with what you're looking forward to watching this fall